Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Paper Craft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to show you how I made this um, Frozen Edges Christmas card. And it's a fun fold card um, because this bit is attached to the top here. So it does stand up, but it's a bit lower down because this bit um, is the front. Okay, so it's using a Frozen Edges bundle in the mini catalog on page 50. Uh, and I've just used these dies and some of the stamps. Um, so it's really, really pretty. I will confess, not the easiest to get out of here. And um, you need to be really careful when you're pulling it out. I ran it through a couple of times. So I have pre-cut this because, you know, it, it's not the easiest to get out. But I also use the um, icicles in my birdhouse um, video as well. So it's it's a lovely little set to have. And this is actually one stamp here. So let me show you the supplies you need. So you need a piece of um, balmy blue cardstock and this measures five and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. You need another piece of balmy blue which measures four inches by four inches. A piece of basic white cardstock. This measures uh, four inches by four and a quarter inches. This piece is to cut this um, these little icicle um, snowflakes. Uh, and this measures, measures, measures five and a half inches by one and three quarters. And then this little front panel here, and I've gone ahead and embossed this already for the video in my favourite embossing folder, um, Snowflake Sky. Uh, this piece measures three and three quarters by two and three quarters. Um, that's basically it. That's all the supplies you need. But it's a really nice, um, like, fun fold card to make. So just one score line we need on the biggest um balmy blue piece and you want the five and a quarter side along the top not the five and a half the five and a quarter and you're going to score that at four and a quarter inches okay so that's the only score line we need fold on that score line and give it a little burnish here okay so um there's an important way to put this together so you're going to take your four by four piece of um, balmy blue and what you want to do is butt it right up to this um, score line here and have it even either side because we're going to attach it to this flap here you don't want to attach it to the base so have it uh, right up into the groove there see I've got it right up into that um, and then you're going to I'm just trying to make it central you're going to pop some glue along this little top piece now don't come down too far because obviously you don't want the glue to show Make sure you've got it kind of central here and then pull this flap down and press down and then that will come up with it. OK, so you don't want it attached to this bottom piece. You want it here. Now, let's go ahead and stamp on this piece here, this bigger piece of basic white. So this is the uh, four by four and a quarter and you want the wider piece, the four and a quarter piece. Let me just check. Yes, going across. So it's four by four and a quarter this way. And then we're going to take this big snowflake image here, ink it up in balmy blue. Love balmy blue. I mean, I miss seaside spray because that was a lovely light blue. Do you remember that one? But this is um, really pretty too. So I'm going to stamp this down in this corner. I haven't gone right to the bottom because I don't want it to show out the side here. But um, and actually. We're going to stamp, while well, we've got the balmy blue, we're going to stamp this little snowflake here as well on a scrap of cardstock. Oh, I've got it around the side, but that should be okay. <laughs> okay, so that's all the balmy blue stamping done. And then um, I took um, this greeting inside, Merry Christmas. This is from um, the Reindeer, uh, Reindeer Fun. Um, set <laughs> I don't think of the word um, and I'm stamping it in um, cherry cobbler because I just wanted to put a contrast on this card so try not to wobble my block because it's wide but I need it for the sorry it's deep but I need it for the width so we're going to stamp that about there okay lovely um, so again that's all the stamping done now I've gone ahead and cut out this snowflake uh, there is a die for this one. There we go. Um, and actually, this one's better. <laughs> that one's off a bit. There we go. That one's good. Oh, I can't pick it up. 
Right, okay, so that's the stamping done. Now this is important again for this piece um, of putting the card together. So this is um, going to stick to the bottom here, but you can see, it, see it's slightly wider than this blue piece. So we want a border either side, but we also want this little bit at the bottom. So it doesn't actually stick all the way to the top, but it's, it's not an equal distance top to bottom. I probably could have designed that differently. But, so what you need to do, hold it against your blue piece here and just see how much you may want at the bottom. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same border all the way around, but I know I want it roughly there. So I just need a little bit showing at the bottom. Actually, that wasn't quite straight, but a little bit like this showing at the bottom and a bigger bit here at the top. So once you've got your glue on, you can move it for a couple of you know, a couple of seconds if it's not quite where you want it to be. So don't panic if you put it down and it's not quite in the right place. So I'm leaving a bigger gap at the top, having it equal distance. I'm going to come down a little bit and then I'm going to quickly have a look. It needs to come along to the right a little bit. You don't have long to do this, by the way. So I'm happy with that border now. I probably could have gone slightly to the left, but happy with that. So you can see now I've got that little border all the way around. And like I say, don't panic if it's not perfectly even, but you will have a bigger gap at the top here than the bottom here. Right, so now we can go ahead and put our embossed layer on here. So that fits centrally in that blue panel that's left showing. So pop this on. I'm sad that <laughs> I'm coming to the end of when I can use this embossing folder because it's been in the catalogue a couple of years. I'm not sure it's going to be there next year. And obviously we're almost... Um, towards the end of the Christmas period. Well, you know, we've got another month. So, but for me with designing, <laughs> I won't be able to use this too much longer. Okay, so like I said, I've gone ahead and cut this already because it wasn't the easiest to get out and I didn't want you just to watch me, you know, cutting this. But basically, um, where's the die gone? Let's see if I can find it. Um, here it is. So basically what I did was I just put it along the top. It doesn't quite go along all the way, but I just avoided these little holes at the end. Put it right to the top, cut it like this um, through a couple of times and then really gently peel this out. Um, and what's unusual about this one is these pieces don't pop out. They pop up, some of them, so you can pull them up, but they don't nothing pops out of here okay so don't try to um <laughs> don't try and pop anything out because it won't come so we're going to stick this along the top here so you just have to look for little bits along the top at the um on the back just to find places to put some glue um little dots along here there might be a couple of places where the snowflakes aren't going to lift up you can put a little bit more um but as long as you've got it coming along and don't go too far down because obviously we've only got that width there because I designed it so that they were hanging down a bit further. And there's some lovely cards with this um, where they, the snowflake bit goes down the side of the card. So there's there's quite a few options, but I will warn you that it's not, not the easiest to, to get out. You need a pokey tool and you need some patience. <laughs> I did 65 for class, I think. And um, yeah, that took a while. Um, okay, so let's push that to the top so it should fit side to side because it's the same width as the card and then just press it down for a couple of, um, couple of seconds just while that glue takes hold. Oops, took hold on there as well. And then you see, so that's a really pretty design, I think, having the snowflakes coming down, um, around the card. So um next um i've used my favorite ribbon of the year <laughs> which is oh my rulers are sliding in <clears throat> this um what's it called cherry cobbler and gold satin ribbon it's just beautiful so we're using quite a lot of this we're using 10 inches so i'm just going to cut on the diagonal there and measure 10 inches along my grid so it's quite a lot for this card but i wanted let's bring that one in this nice kind of loop I wanted it to be a feature of the card as well. So, um, you know, it needed to be um, quite big on here. So all I do with my ribbon when I do this is I loop it over like this and I pop a glue dot um, 
under this loop so I just basically peel it back and put a glue dot in there so let me find my glue dots and I'm sure I found my pokey tool yesterday anyway um, I will use scissors if I can't find it right this second um, I'm still settling in here because I've had um, a Christmas special class already and I've got another one this coming weekend it's just taking me a little bit of time to sort the house and get um, get more settled and more sorted but um, I am getting there so um, and it's getting ever closer to the time when I'm gonna have my lovely studio in the garden I cannot wait okay so about there give it a bit of an angle if you want and I'm going to pop the glue dot where that folds over you can use um, glue, obviously, if you don't have glue dots, but these are your friend for ribbons, I feel. On the back, pop another one and then put that, um, I might come along a little bit more, where you'd like this to be. It's so pretty, isn't it, on that card? It just really um, makes a difference, I think. Um, I've used this die here for the um, outside greeting and it's from um, Stylish Shapes. I use these all the time because there's so many options um, and generally I find something that will fit um, the stamp that I want to use. And I've used this um, Wishing You and Yours. Um, I will check which stamp set that's from. I think it might be from Peaceful Seasons. Here it is, uh, Wishing You and Yours. And they also have a... Um, I think they had a wishing you a eh? or maybe that was from a different set but anyway wishing you and yours you can use obviously whatever you have on there um so it's got wishing you and yours merry christmas okay so uh we're going to stamp that in balmy blue so when i said we'd finished stamping i wasn't quite telling the truth obviously <laughs> i'd forgotten this little bit okay so ink it up in my balmy blue and i'm just going to stamp it on there um and then i'm going to cut this one out so I will be right back okay so pop this one out pretty I like I really like the font in that as well okay so um the other thing we want is a um a cherry cobbler label underneath you can't see it that much but I just wanted a little something under there right so um all I'm going to do here let me see why did you put dimensionals between? I mean, if you want this to go as a um, a regular card, I think just put one layer of dimensionals on when you when you put this whole thing on. But I'm just going to give this to somebody, so I'm going to put two layers of dimensionals. Um, you know, because why not? It's Christmas. <laughs> a new pack. Okay, so a couple on the back of here. And then just make sure you've got your dots on the right side because it's it's nicer on one side. And then offset that slightly on there. And then again, I'm going to pop some on the back of this one. But like I say, you can choose just to put them on the back of here rather than on both layers if you'd prefer. And then we're just going to pop that on there. So sweet. <laughs> but it just ties in the colours as well. So now let's go ahead where's that snowflake gone <laughs> it's blown away i've gone ahead and i've actually cut these little ones out of some glimmer paper here so this glimmer paper is from uh, an online exclusive you get berry burst you get i believe it's garden green and then this white in there as well so obviously great for this time of year and i've gone ahead and cut the three snowflakes there's my blue one okay here are the other two Okay, so glue dots on the back. I think I might have put that one on a dimensional. Yes, I did a mini. I'm going to put these ones on first. I want to see where I want everything to go. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, this one down here. I think that looks super cute there. I'm going to put the little one with more of the holes around okay, I'm just rolling up the glue dot here I'm gonna put that one here make sure you've poked out the little ones and then um, this one which is a bit more it's kind of like the thinnest um, one here 
just going to put on the end of this, but try not to cover, <laughs> try not to cover the words, so maybe at a bit of an angle here. Oops, come on. Let's move that glue dot down a bit. There. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so then my uh, blue one, I don't, I don't really want it kind of one in all four corners, so I'm going to put the blue one up here. Um, so, I mean, you could, <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, I just had my mini done, it was about two seconds ago. Okay, actually, I don't think I need a mini, <laughs> just as well, because I can't find one. All right, flip this over. Oh, it's a nice big space, we don't need a mini. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to pop this. Let's see, I might put it a bit of an angle on this one. And then I'm using my beloved um, pearls and cherry, Ooh, knock something off. My cherry cobbler um, little pearls here and um, uh, berries. Um, yeah, I think that's what they're called. So I'm getting really low on these. So I'm going to pop that little um, cherry cobbler one in the middle bit more central there and then I think I'm going to end up colouring these pearls because I've used far more of the um the cherry cobbler ones but you know that's an option so I'm going to put just one of the pearls in the middle of that one and then a couple up here there we go um so there we have it my frozen edges fun fold christmas card i hope you've enjoyed making that take care see you soon bye <laughs>